Hey guys, I'm very excited about uh, having a good friend and guest back on the show. I should mention right up front and uh, out of the gate, I have I, I, I'm I asked Victor from Florida Tackle Club to be on here for a couple reasons. Uh, subscription tackle boxes have literally blown up. <laughs> Literally, I don't even know if you know this. I'm gonna, I might blow your mind right now. I, I, there's one from Major League Fishing now too. Um, so you did see that? Okay, so uh, yeah. good, good. But there's there's a business behind what all these guys do, uh, and and I thought with all the the stuff that I see online of people doing unboxings and the comments that I get and even. Even the comp, the, the hate I got about not knowing what the hell Robo Worm is, and let me first say I don't drop shot, so that's why I don't have a clue about. Ro do you know what Robo Worm is? Oh, I do now. <laughs> <laughs> we don't we don't drop shot down here. Uh, yeah. So I took some heat for that, but there's a there's a science and a, a business plan behind all these subscription boxes, and and I had lots of questions, and I thought. There's no one better to ask than someone that I that I trust, that I honestly believe creates the best box out there. I don't think there's any way to even dis, to put it against anybody. I think Florida Tackle Club is the best one for your money. Uh, so today I just thought this would be a good chance to talk to Victor, learn a little bit more about the behind the scenes and stuff like that that goes into putting together this box. Do you even make any money on the box? Things like that. So thank you, Victor, for being here. So first off, good morning. How are you? Good morning. I'm great. Uh, thanks, Steve, for having me. And I'm excited to talk to you today. Yes. Uh, it, I, it seems like I think we did an interview of like three, four, five, six months ago. How long has it been? I don't know, man. I feel like it was actually I think it was April that we did our last one. Really? I mean, this year it seemed like it was like the longest year ever, but on the in that regard too it's like man i i feel like i'm still waiting you know it's like a constant waiting game like yeah. this whole year so yeah, i know what you mean but how, I think, yeah i think it was an how has covid uh changed your way of putting together a subscription tackle box for us yeah um not too different except oh. for like you know honestly the, except there's been a wait on some some brands like some brands i'm still waiting on it like an order from one brand for example that i put in, in in October and we still haven't seen that that product and it's all new stuff so that's another reason I think you know it's not it hasn't even been released yet yeah um but usually we've got we would have it by now so there's that one company I would say and it's a big one uh it's a, it's a big company but other than that um you know we don't we haven't had any issues really like with getting stuff um and that would be the main thing the other thing is shipping um uh, you know we use you, you, you know, United States Postal Service, and mm. they raise the price a little bit, <clears throat> so that affected us. But um, you know, we haven't seen any real super hard, you know, obstacles to, to get over in terms of the supply chain. And that might be too because we're smaller, like we're a small family-run business, and we don't have you know, you know, tens of thousands of subscribers. So that might be another reason. When when you started, because I remember meeting you at ICAST. Seeing your, I think it was your first box, or you were maybe yeah. you were just about to put out your first box. Yeah. What made you decide to get into this absolutely crazy business that's going on right now? <laughs> uh, well, it was the love of fishing. Like I, I got into it because I was obsessed with fishing, and you know I fish all the time. Um, you know, either by myself or with friends or family. Uh, however, I was just always thinking about it, always doing it. And um, somebody asked me, I'd have, you know, different friends ask me, I want, remember one in particular asked me to help him find some fishing lures. So we went together to go buy some stuff at a store and I said, yeah, this works for this, this works for that. And it was really fun. And then I thought, well, it'd be cool to do that more, you know, do it like a business. And that's where I had the idea. And that was about six years ago. And, you know, at that time, the big companies that the big subscription tackle, fishing tackle companies existed. Um, and yeah, so I, I th thought twice about it, but I was just, I couldn't let go of the idea and finally put it together. So it was really, I'd say that the love of fishing, um, coming from fishing myself so much and, you know, and now that's what I still love about it. It's, you know, knowing that someone's going to use this to 
go fishing, uh, especially if they're going fishing with their kids. Um, you know, that's that's what I really love about it. Uh, when you hear when you hear all these people, uh, the market is is flooded with these right now. There's there's mm-hmm. there's like a new one almost every every month. It seems like uh, it seems like everyone, excluding you. Uh, we see a recycled amount of products in each box from, in, in some in some cases, every month. Mm-hmm. You no offense to the Yappa bug, but I can't tell you how many times I've received one of those in the last uh, four, five, or six years. I think I think I got. I remember meeting Lucky Tackle Box maybe eight or nine years ago, and them running around iCast and doing their thing and getting theirs. Uh, and then I remember Mystery Tackle Box coming out, and then I remember Monster Bass coming out too. Um, wh- why? Why don't I see this? Why don't I get your products <laughs> in their in their boxes? Maybe that's the best way to put it. Yeah, yeah, those products. I know what you're talking about. Like I could literally tell you what's going to be in boxes. You know, just and anyone could do it. Like just go watch some YouTube videos. Like you know what brands are going to be in most of those boxes. And I could also tell you from kind of the back end. I know exactly where to buy those products. Like I could go today and go fill a box up with a bunch of um, products that you've seen in a lot of other boxes. Overstock. And it's all right to say overstock. Yeah, it is. A lot of it is. It's overstock. I can go to a liquidator today and go put a box together for about, I don't know, maybe $4, right? $5, put a box together. Shut and up. I'm serious. It's because they, they, don't, they don't cost much. Or the other way to do it is to make deals with companies that really want their name out there, which is an interesting part of this business as well, right? Yes. They're smaller companies, but that's kind of another topic. The overstock stuff, um, yeah, it's it's out there. It's, it's, it's accessible. I just, I never, that was never what this box was about for me and ever will be. Um, I remember getting a box once as a gift before I started the company. And um, I literally threw some of the stuff in the trash. Like I didn't even feel comfortable giving it to a kid like to go fishing because it was just like, I would never use that. And, uh, I know that exact feeling. Yeah. So that was disappointing to me actually. Like when I got a box from a major company, I got a box, it was salt water. And I was like, man, is this really what people are buying? And I, and then I thought like, if I were giving a gift and the person I gave the gift to like was disappointed in that way, where they literally threw stuff in the trash, like that would be, that wouldn't be a great experience for me. Mm-hmm. So I was thinking about that. I was like, how would a gift giver want this to end up and that's how we do the box right it's thinking about the gift giver because that's the majority of people who are a part of florida tackle club give this as a gift to their to their son or to their husband or to their grandson or, or to themselves to themselves too yeah yeah. And, yeah and that's important so um that's how i think of it like there's nothing in our box that will ever be disappointing or at least i hope so right i I really we try really hard not to put anything in there that someone be like yeah like it's all it's all stuff that's new like we put stuff in the box that hasn't even come out yet yeah all the time it's not just one box a year like that we claim to do that like we do it all the time so that's how ours is different it's 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 really i'm trying to actually a lot of times i think people think subscription box and they think oh i'm going to get a great deal or I'm going to get a huge discount. Like I'm going to get a bunch of stuff that I probably wouldn't buy, but at least I'll have a lot of tackle for cheap. That's not our box. Right? Our box has never been what I call a discount box. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's why you see a lot of discount stuff in boxes because that's what makes money. That's how people make money on these boxes. They, they fit them, and then their profit margin is different. Do most of the do most of the companies make? I mean. When you start saying that you could go and put together a box for four or five dollars, that's like mind boggling to me because I know that there are companies out there that do it. I mean, they might give you eight or nine products, but when you get that box, you end up going, <clears throat> excuse me, you end up looking at it and going, there's nothing in here I'm going to use. There's, there's yeah. literally nothing. And, and I'm really, I'm, I think I've been really tough on a, quite a few people in the last several unboxings that I've done so much so that I've, I mean, I'll tell you and I'll tell whoever the only one I plan on doing here soon is yours. Um, because I'm sick of getting shit. I'm sick of getting things that not only do I know I'm not going to use, uh, or 
don't even remotely work here in Florida. To give me a deep diver 16-foot bait or 12-foot bait, crankbait, is absolutely mind-boggling to me. People yeah, who... Go ahead. I was going to say that's interesting because... Um... You know, that's another thing about ours. It's different. It's individually customized, as you know. Yes. So, so it's interesting. Like for you, I know, like, um, you know, we would never send you that because you don't use that. Right? Yeah. But I do have like some, we do have some club members in uh, Florida who fish the deeper lakes. So like, I will send them, like some of them want like a 10 XD, you know, like to catch ridiculous bass. Yeah. Um, and we have them, but we don't send them to everybody. We, we just send them to people who do that particular type of fishing. And that's what's different about ours. We don't send everyone in Florida the same thing. Yeah. Now, Florida is, is, a, is an area that's very similar. There are not a lot of deep lakes in Florida. Yeah. Most of them are full of weeds. Full. Right? So we'll send a lot of stuff that will work for that. But we do get an occasional, you know, person yeah. who wants something different, even in Florida. And not to even mention people outside the state that we that we send boxes to, you know, those boxes are different. So, yeah, I, I totally get that. Um, you know, if you're getting all the same stuff and you put everybody in one big, you know, region, you know, it's it's not quite the same as individual customizing, which is logistically difficult, but it's worth it, I think. That's why so, we do it every other month. Yeah. By the way, <laughs> I think one of the things that uh, and 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 I I've dealt with this. The the show was called Fishing Florida Radio for 12 years and everyone thought because there was Florida in there that we never talked about anything outside of Florida and even so much so that people thought that we didn't even talk about like Bassmaster stuff or Major League Fishing or that kind of stuff when you start with Florida Tackle Club name your name are you finding that you're having a hard time reaching people outside of Florida that that don't realize you're going to make the uh, an almost perfect box specifically for that person if they give you the right information do you have do you, do you find that do you have an issue or do you, is that hurting you at all i think so yeah i think it does at this point i think in the beginning it helped us a lot mm -hmm. like how do you stand out against you know mystery tackle box lucky tackle box like people that ha have sent out millions of boxes like how do you differentiate yourself not to mention all the all the small subscription companies that exist and this year i mean like you said like over the past year, there's so many now, like how yeah. do you stand out? So that mm -hmm. helped us a lot because we niched down so small that, you know, majority of our subscribers are from Florida. Right? Yeah. They see Florida, they search for Florida stuff or they search for a subscription and then they see a Florida one. They're like, oh, that one's for me. Mm -hmm. um, so it made sense for us. Um, but now at this point, we're, we do have subscribers all over the country. And I do know that sometimes people see Florida Talk Club and they're like, oh, can they do a box for me? I get emails like that or our team gets emails where they're like, can you do this for us? Mm -hmm. So I know that the name, you know, does limit us at this point. And we're actually thinking we're thinking about changing it um, or we have another plan, another idea that uh, that we're leaning more towards. Um, but if anybody has a name suggestion. That would be fun to see. So put it in the comments. <laughs> and if, if you use it, I'll contact you. <laughs> it's called RoboWorm, the subscription box. Just, the robo just box. Yeah. the Robo. Just joking, yeah. boy. No, I, not only. Yeah, it's only <laughs> that Ned. That's all it is. Uh, that yeah. To be honest, that would work some places like Lake Erie really? and yeah. your clear water places. That would be. That's not a bad idea. Uh, yeah. These, these, I, I guess I'm, I'm kind of, I'm still stuck behind thinking that you could probably put some, one, a couple of these boxes together for four or five dollars. There's that much overstock tackle out there that people can't get rid of or companies can't get rid of. Is that there? There's really that much out there. Well, I mean, I just know. So I work, you know, I've worked with one company. We only bought something from them one time. Oh, I think I know because... this story. Oh, okay, yeah. So, um, it was. It was just that. Oh, I, that's another thing. I, I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah, we have yeah. some. We have some lures from another company that you're thinking of that we haven't ever. We have hardly ever sent them out. We started sending them at the beginning of the company, and now we're stuck with them because they s suddenly became discounted. Even though they're a good bait, it's just they the company made something else, and now we have all these these lures, and we're still looking to the right kids organization to donate to them too. So that's what we're going to do. But no, this is a, another thing. Like one of these overstock companies actually had a really good bait. Um, and, 
so we got it, but it was, it was in the beginning of the company. We only had like a small amount of subscribers at that time. So it was easy to, to, to send them out, you know, mm -hmm. um, and they didn't go on oh, into a discount, like overstock type situation. And so it was good, but so I know them, they, they contact me all the time, right? They actually say, Hey, look, we have this, we have that. And I'm always telling them, Hey, hey look, we, we don't want that. Like we don't want that stuff. You know, sometimes I, 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 I purchase from them, like just for my family, <laughs> like, yeah. you know, just like rods or something. I don't yeah. know. But anyway, the point is that's how I know them, right? That's how I'm in contact with them. But, um, you know, they, they have a lot of stuff and it's just from companies that go out of business or from companies that are getting rid of, you know, stuff that didn't sell well, whatever. And again, the other way that, that, you know, there's margins are different on boxes is if a smaller company that's not known, which a lot of people know this or can figure this out, it's not known wants to get their name out there. They'll make a deal with subscription companies and then subscription companies will buy the, their lure mm -hmm. for what it costs them to make it. So they make nothing on that lure, yep. but they're hoping that it helps them with marketing or sometimes in some cases, I know that subscription companies actually get paid, right? To put that box that in their box. And yeah. again, the, the small companies hoping that that helps them with marketing. Now it does because it gets their name out there, especially if you go with like mystery tackle box or something like that, if your name is out there. But in my opinion, now your name is out there mixed in with all the liquidated stuff. So yeah, so we have, we've had a number of small companies reach out to us and uh, say, Hey, we'd love to have our product in your box. And here's the thing. I, as soon as they tell me we've already worked with mystery tackle box, or we have our stuff, we have stuff with, you know, whatever, fill in the blank. I feel yeah. like I'm talking about mystery tackle box too, too much. And I don't want to be unprofessional or anything like that. But as soon as I mention another subscription company, I'm like, mm, I don't know. I don't think so because people again like they question that and the way that we do our box is very different in my opinion than everyone else we don't make as much money on our box as mm -hmm. other people do because we don't buy things for, like that and we yeah. don't take like we don't tell a company that you know we're going to market do marketing for you um because that's not what it's about for us and that might be a, a, a you know an oversight you know perhaps that's that's the way to make this thing grow i've seen other companies grow very quickly through that marketing uh uh, structure, but we're not a marketing company. Like we're, we're a fishing tackle company that's customized. Like we're anglers. Like I fish, if I could fish more, I would right? yeah. fish all the time. Like that's what we do. We're not, we're, we're not just trying to sell stuff. Like we, even though we are obviously, yeah. You know, but it's way about way more than that. So yeah, that's, it's a little more insight, I guess, into how it works. It, uh, it's, uh, it, there's nothing wrong against making money at this because your yeah. time and effort and all the stuff that goes into producing the best box out there is is tough. I know uh, I, I've, I think I've reached out to you one or two times and said, hey, I don't know if you've seen this lure. Uh, it's it's pretty much the bee's knees that I'm that I can tell right right off the bat. Uh, and I'm surprised that like, uh, other, well, I'll just be honest that monster bass who I've cr been very cr critical of hasn't reached out and said, here's what our, here's what we're sending out for Florida. And not that I'm a pro by any means, but I would say to him, quite honestly, don't send that deep diver out, uh, mm -hmm. Ned stuff. I mean, people do use Ned stuff, but that's, those are deeper water techniques in most cases. Not to mention things that are, you know, we have a lot of weeds. We, you know, we are, you go four or five feet down and you're, you're, you're in weeds. Not to mention if you're not in weeds, you're not catching fish, but yeah. bass just don't stand out in the middle of a flat where there's nothing, no protection or grass or something that they can ambush a fish on. And we, mm -hmm. and I find I get a lot of lures that are are not even designed for our, our style. Most of the time there's, I've had, I've had a, a whole box show up probably more than one where I didn't take one lure and, and put it in my tackle box. And that, that's, yeah. that's, I will, first off, I don't have those subscriptions anymore because I think they're junk, but, uh, it's, it's really like what you guys do is just totally different than, than everybody else. That's what makes, I believe, what makes you guys the best. I, in the year and a half, I've, and I, and it should be known, I pay for the boxes, don't I? 
Oh yeah, you do. And that like so, something else about that too is like our boxes are. Well, I can talk about them more in a second. So I feel like I interrupted you, but yeah, that, yeah our that, boxes are are not cheap. Like no, not, our boxes are more expensive than other boxes. Yes. And you put and you, you don't get any. Dis- Steve's just everybody knows he gets no discount. <laughs> yes. And he, I don't even and use the code one. that you gave me. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. No. I know. I don't either. <laughs> <laughs> but. In all the months that I've done your things, I know of one lure of yours that I didn't use. Do you know that? Mm. And the only reason I didn't use that lure, it was because it's too heavy for the rods I have. Okay. You sent me a uh, a cobia jig. Oh yeah, that's saltwater. That was yes, the first saltwater box. Yeah, and, we have a yeah. That's that's a very specific type of like lure. Yeah, yeah. Well, and it's something yeah. I will use if I go cobia fishing, mm. but I don't have a rod to throw it. That's the best way to put it. That's the only one in all the all the months I've done it. I can't say that about anybody else. Now, there's been months that I've that I've enjoyed other subscription tackle boxes and went, okay, this is really good. Lately, I haven't found any of them that are worth the thirty five bucks. Which yours is a little bit more expensive. Why don't you tell me why? I don't mind paying it to be honest. That's the God's yeah. honest truth. But why why is yours just a little bit more expensive than the other ones? Yeah, I think again, it's it's the reason it's more expensive because if we if we don't have it at that price, we literally would not make any money, right? And I don't mean like that as a figurative statement. It's literally like we wouldn't make any money on the box um, because when you factor in everything else besides the lures that go into a box, the box itself, right, and everything else that you need to run a company, like we wouldn't be making enough money to keep it going. In fact, we are going to raise the price on the boxes. Um, and, uh, you know, we talked a lot about that with, you know, the team and still like so when I say that, it's kind of <laughs> almost like scary to say, but um, something we're going to do is grandfather everyone in, right? Everyone that has a subscription already, they're going to have the same price. We're not going to change the price on them. And that also means that whoever's watching this, like you have <laughs> a few weeks to get yeah. it at that price because it's going to go up, All right? Because we... We put an awesome product out. We put the top of the line lures. We put new products that no one can even get yet. Yeah, um, you know, thank our you box for that. Is worth, yeah, you're welcome. I think that's really cool part of the box too. Like, you know, honestly, let me say this about boxes too, right? You don't really need a box to catch a lot of fish. Or your you personal best. A, you definitely don't need one to catch your personal best, right? I know that because I fish all the time, right? And anyone who, who goes fishing a lot knows that. You yep. don't need a bunch of lures to catch fish. And you, you don't need a specific type of lure to catch the biggest fish you ever caught. The biggest bass I've ever caught was a surprise as I was peacock bass fishing, right? It was an eight pound bass, which I know people are going to comment about that. Like, Although that's still a stud. You know, anyway, it's an, yeah, a stud bass. And I, by the way, I'm a saltwater guy, really. Yeah, so, but anyway, I know. It's a, a nice bass. And I was fishing for a peacock bass on the tiniest little lure, right? And it just happened. So, and granted, you can specifically target the big bass down deep with these, you know, bigger lures, deep, deep lures, and some deep lakes, or you know, those things you can do. Lures are awesome. I love them. Right? That's why I do this company too. Mm-hmm. But top water, mid water, bottom. Right. I I learned that when I first started fishing from a guide. Though that's how I think of lures. Right. It's either top, mid, or bottom fishing, and then from there, you have you know, clear lures for clear water, right? Darker lures for muddy stained water. That's it. That's all you really need to know to catch more fish. The number one way to catch more fish is not to buy a subscription box. It is to go fishing. Yeah. You can't yeah. catch a fish without a line in the water. You can't, right? you can't do it. So that's how you catch more fish. And it, so when I hear that, sometimes I'm like, yeah, that's a selling point. I get it. Our box is for people who want to give a really great gift to someone or themselves, get awesome lures, awesome tackle, you know, top of line stuff, new stuff they've never, you know, doesn't even come out yet or stuff they maybe never use. It breaks you out of that, like kind of mundane, use the same lure all the time, which some people like, like they're, you know, these, like I, I used to be that way. I honestly, I used to use the same lures all the time and it was fine. I got caught a ton of fish, but it's fun, you know, to be involved and to, you know, learn more about lures. It's, it's, it's a fun part of fishing, I think. But it's not for, you know, really catching more fish. It's more about using different stuff, using more lures. Um, Opening and, up your range. Yeah, that's exactly right. And, you know, if you if you want, if you like that, that's what they're for. Or if you want to get a lot of cheap tackle for cheap, like on a discount box, that's another reason maybe. Like you you fill up your tackle box and, you know, that's what you want to do. But for, for us, it's an awesome gift. If someone gives it, the anger's not going to be disappointed in any way. 
And if you want to get it for yourself, something really nice and like have a lot of lures and be updated on what's, you know, what's coming out and all that, like that's another reason to get it. But I'm tired of hearing that. Like, honestly, like, you know, we're going to help you catch more fish. Or we're going to, you know, this box is what you need. Yeah. I caught, it's I like the fish on a paper clip. You yeah. Know what it, I mean, like, <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> it's like the infomercials. You remember years ago, there was that one bass lure that came out and it, all, it just showed just bass after bass. It was on TV and twenty nine ninety five, and you get 144 pieces of this. You know, it's a lot of times people don't realize that it's, it's a gimmick. It's a, there's a yeah. lot of gimmicks to get us to purchase this stuff. I'll give you complete credit. I told you this just recently. So I do a lot of stuff with Patrick Sabeel, mm-hmm. a lot of stuff. I started testing that Minwow three years ago. Yeah. Uh, now when it's in the, I'm going to, I'm going to shatter some people's news the hearts here when it's in the 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 prototype phase they're not colored lures they're all the same color they're white or they're clear or whatever and they don't have eyes and there's and and there's subtle tweaks to that lure before it goes it goes out last month in your box you sent me a package of minwows that i have never ever seen available first off I was surprised that I didn't get mine before you got yours, which pissed me off to make start it off. But then I was happy because I was like, oh my gosh, this is these are just coming out on the market. This is the final product. I hadn't seen the final product of that Minwow. And you've done that to me several times. There was a Savage Gear. You sent me a Savage Gear Twitch Reaper that was I knew had I had my I had one, but I had gotten it three days earlier. But I was like, these are what these are products that you guys send out that are always new. That's the, that's really the beautiful thing about Florida Tackle Club. It not only well, there's a f- many things. First, you cater it to what I fish. I appreciate that you. I think I'm probably a little bit easier to figure out because you've seen some of my videos. But I also said here's the here's the type of fishing I do. I like light tackle. This this and this and this. So you've sent me new worms to try out because you know I'm, you know I'm a DOA person. So you've sent yeah. me new worms that I've actually went out and used to caught fish on and been like, okay, this is this is a, another great worm. And uh and then it's the new products. It's always there's always something in the box that makes me just go, oh my gosh. From from pliers, which I've never, ever seen anyone send pliers in the tackle boxes. You know you know why, by the way, it's because they're too heavy, right? Is that <laughs> really the just tip- oh yeah. I didn't know that. That kills is over a pound. You're in a different shipping rate. So if the, if you ever get a, a box that's over a pound, there's something going on there, right? It's either that's a hookup type of month where the the the, the owner like me is, is like really trying people to see, look, like we, we do stuff different, or they're getting some ridiculous deal so they can send out like that heavy of a box. But you know that's that's something I don't know. You would only know I guess if you're shipping them. But yeah, I didn't know uh, that. Yeah, but no, I mean to your point, like. We do do that, right? The the Minwow is an awesome lure. Like, I think I, I we talked one time and I caught, uh, like I, I in short slammed it like one day and the next morning I fished at the lake behind my house and um, and then I caught a huge bass on the same mm-hmm. lure. Didn't even have to untie. Like I love lures like that. You can go saltwater, freshwater, yeah. like versatile lures like that. And that's something we do a lot here in Florida. If anyone's watching from out of state and probably other coastal states too, like we'll use saltwater lures for freshwater. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I've sent some saltwater stuff to especially peacock bass fishermen uh, that maybe they never thought of trying and they, they kill it. Right. And so that's something that we don't do as much out, out of state because I feel like people don't know about it. Or they see a saltwater lure, they're like, oh, what is this? But they that's a, a neat way to change it up that really works. But we send that stuff out like we sent lures in our box that no one's ever sent. Right. Mm-hmm. So I think of like the live target, um, the free, the, the injected core frog, we sent that out right away. As soon as we saw it, I, as soon as I saw that lure, I was like, oh, we have to have that in the box. That thing is awesome. Uh, we sent out Savage Gear stuff. We sent out, uh, you know, Band of Angler stuff, which includes, um, you know, the hyperelastics and, you know, spool tech, stuff like that. We sent lures that no one's ever sent. And I know why it's because they cost too much money. No, no manufacturer is going to sell their stuff for what it costs them to make it. When they don't need any marketing, right? Mm-hmm. We don't. You don't need to marketing for spool tech. Everybody in Florida knows spool tech. Everybody, Everybody catches massive snook on spool tech. They don't need my help, right? 
I want it in the box though, because I want the best stuff in the box. I want the best brands, right? Truly. And so that's why we do that. And you know, that again, that's it's different price, but I would challenge any other subscription company, raise your price and raise the quality at the same time. I would love to see that happen. I would love to see the subscription box industry change from a bunch of discount junk, right? That you're calling the best. And you're basically people don't even know what's out there now because they're they're being fooled by all these you know companies saying that it's the best, but it's really not. Raise your price, raise your raise your quality. I don't mind, right? I don't want to be the only one, to be honest. I'd rather there be more com- more uh, competition and higher quality, so that it's better for us anglers, mm-hmm. so that we really do get the best stuff. That's what we're about. If you were to, <clears throat> if and I don't want to pick anybody out, but if you were to look at seven or eight lures let's just say seven lures and the box and shipping um, from other subscription boxes and they're charging us 35. What is, what, what do you think the overall, what would it cost you to make that same box? Does that make sense? Uh, that's a good question. Yeah, it makes sense. Um, I don't know. I've never actually like put it down on paper, so I, I couldn't give you the exact number, but I do know like some, some boxes give you like one really good lure and then like a bunch of other stuff. Yeah. Um, so they kind of they kind of play the magic trick on you. They show you something really good, and then the rest of it's shit. Yeah, yeah, and that's how they kind of do it. So that box probably costs a little bit more to make than the other boxes that give you no good lures, right? So yeah. I've seen some boxes that are just like you know I look at it and and I'm just like wow I can't believe they got away with that you know like yeah I can't for thirty five bucks. So yeah, it's it's. It's actually, it makes me upset, you know? So, um, so yeah, it depends. Like, but again, like if, if a company is getting what it costs to make the lure, you know, that's about 25% of what they're selling it for. And then if they're getting a bunch of discount stuff or they're getting some sort of deal, um, you know, again, like just, you can do the math and figure that out. Like the discount stuff, you know, that'll sell for like, you know, it'll sell for, sometimes 20% of what you would normally have seen it. And now it's discounted. So you can't really always judge the price because it's, you know, on sale everywhere. Mm -hmm. But I don't know, I guess you could just kind of figure it out that way. Yeah. But that's how they make, that's how they make money. And, you know, granted, there's nothing wrong with that. Like it's, you know, you're in business to make money. You're not, you're not just doing it for charity or anything like that. But. And and I'm not saying they should. I'll be honest. I, uh, I think uh, it might've been two years ago before I really started hitting YouTube and trying to, trying to do it everything I can. Uh, I was at the, I used to work at the villages in Florida. Uh, I mean, you know where the villages is. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's, yeah. it's about an hour from my house and I had, I loved working there. I love, I really j- did enjoy working there, but on the way I, I had always seen this place called Ollie's and I'm like, what the hell is this? You know, this, this place, it was like bargain something. And I got a subscription tackle box. I don't even, I don't want to mention their name. I had went into Ollie's and found eight out of the 10 lures that came to me in that Ollie's at that Ollie's. I've never told this story. Never ever. And I remember thinking I could get every lure that was at Ollie's for 79 cents. And I thought, oh my gosh, I'm going to, I'm going to get, you know, seven of the seven of the nine or seven of the 10 lures that came to me for under seven bucks. And, uh, and I did and buy them. That's the that's the that's the they're selling that to the consumer. So imagine what they're selling that to, like yeah. companies that order like thousands of them. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It it was uh, it was really surprising. I did find it. I'll be honest too. I did find a couple lures that I was like, oh my gosh, I haven't don't have, you know, there was a bunch of like a product I actually used quite a bit of. I I took mm-hmm. the whole box. I mean, they yeah. were it was it cost me ten dollars for I don't even know how many lures, and I was like. Ah, I use these nonstop. And and of all things, they were actually rebranding or repackaging to make the package different. And that's why they sold all these other lures. They didn't want to break them apart. And I thought, hell, I don't give I don't give a crap. I'm I'm gonna use them. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's yeah. yeah, that's always interesting to see the same lure in just a different box and all of a sudden it's it's a discount thing. And that's that's a tricky part too. Like sometimes you'll get good lures. Like again, I'm not trying to knock all, all the subscription companies out there. Like they're there's, there's subscription boxes I've seen that, that, you know, I would give as a gift yeah, you know, and I would feel comfortable with it. Would I buy it myself? Honestly, I wouldn't, but you know, I just, 
I don't know. I still kind of in that mentality, like that I used to be, and I guess where I use a lot of, the, I used to use a lot of the same lures. Now I use, you know, obviously now I use a ton of lures, but yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's, there's something to be said for that, like getting a bunch of stuff, um, for, for a cheap price and maybe you would never buy it for yourself or you'd buy it at a discount place, but maybe you want a lot of stuff that there are people that just that. want as much tackle as they can get. Yeah. I, there oh, are people me. like that. Look, people ask me all the time for free tackle. So I know. <laughs> <laughs> Same with me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Same with me. Actually, yeah. I have a wall in the uh, in not behind me, but in the garage, and and I, and I tell my friends anything I put on the wall, you're welcome to at any time. Not that I'm not going to use that stuff, but uh, because they're friends, they're close friends. I'd rather just if I have it and it's on that wall, there's a reason why it's on that wall. Now there's stuff that's on the wall, and then there's a five gallon bucket, and that's the five gallon bucket goes to the kids. And I will say that bucket fills up quite fat, quite, quite a bit faster than it should because of a lot of the crap that I get. Uh, Oh, and in these other subscription box, not yours of all things. Uh, is there anything else? I mean, I mean, I really do appreciate you being honest about this because it's kind of been a kind of a little bit light went off because I've always thought, I've always thought, oh, you know what? It would be really cool to make once a year my own box and go to these companies that I know that I like and say, you know what? Can I buy 20 of these or can I buy 20 of these and then do that? Now I'm realizing that's the dumbest thing I've ever thought in my life. <laughs> no, I mean, <laughs> yeah, I mean, no, I mean, it's, it's, it's enjoyable. It's fun. Like, you know, it's our company is growing. You know, it's, it's, it's definitely, there's a lot to be said for creating something. And for us, like, you know, to create something from really out of nowhere and, and have it grow is, is awesome. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's definitely tough. It's a tough business to be in. Yeah. I'm grateful to be in it. You know, I'm not, I'm not, that's not meant as a criticism or feeling ungrateful. I'm very grateful to, to do it. It's, it's awesome. I love it. Um, but yeah, to go out and buy a, a, you know, buy what you want and put something together, you could, you know, it's, it's, there's minimums though too. Like that's something else. Someone's thinking about starting one. You know, and this not to discourage anyone. I, I encourage entrepreneurship and, and following a dream. Um, but you know, there's minimums on on starting an account with a company, mm-hmm. and then if you have to meet that minimum to start it, you have to order a lot. So yeah. that's that's something else to think about. But um, yeah, no, I'm I'm happy to talk about really anything. Like I'm 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 an open type of person. Like I don't try to pull the wool over anybody's eyes, or um, you know, try to you know. I'm not a, maybe again, this is to my detriment in terms of business. I'm not really a salesperson. I'm, yeah. a, I'm a fisherman, I'm a fisherman right? yeah. and, and, a, and a teacher, like, and, and now a business owner, me and my team, we put together this quality box for, again, people who want to give the best gift they can give if they're looking for a fishing subscription. And I still stick to that. That's what we are. We're no one gives, you can't give a better subscription box if you're giving us as a gift. For someone else or for yourself, you know, there's there's no higher quality than what we do. Yeah, I agree completely. I I I I've, I think I've made it very clear. I think that what you guys do is, without a question, the best out there. And uh, I like that you cater to what I what I do. I like that it's always new product. Uh, it's not overstock or overvalued product, and that really makes me happy because uh, I feel like I could go someplace and get and go to. Brookers or uh, Bass Pro or wherever, and I can go to the discount bin and find some of the stuff that I get in these tackle boxes in that bin. And if I wanted to try it, that would be where I would try it. When I when yeah. I get a subscription box, I want to get a subscription box that I'm going to be happy with. That the products are going to be things that I want to. Tr- I don't mind trying new products. Don't get me wrong. I don't mind trying new products at all. I love that. But that the new products they're not from four or five six sometimes 10 years ago that didn't the reason and and i'll i'll be brutally honest there's a reason why they're overstock and overvalued either they didn't work and didn't catch fish or they're just flat out junk that's my theory on it um there's yeah or they're or they're or they're super old but they have to be super old i mean because look at gulp for example like yeah for salt where i was talking about this but gulp is not cheaper right than it used to be it's actually yeah. more expensive. I right? know. So that's a lure that's been around a long time. That flat out works. Lost, by the way, yeah, flat out works. And um, 
it's it's because like you said it works so it's either yeah it didn't work it's it's doing it's gone through a rebranding or the company liquidated or, or whatever but yeah that's that's very true and, and again like people want to get a good value like like I try to break people out of the mentality for club members like of ours, they don't buy our box to get this ridiculous deal, even though we, we put really good value and we have so far, like probably more than we should have, right? Uh -huh. Based on the price. But I tell people, you know, that's not what our box is about, right? If you want, if you want to break down the cost of everything and how much you saved and like how much you could have bought it for and all that, like, then maybe you should buy a different box, right? Yeah. Granted, we still have a good value. Look at all the boxes, but that's not the, the focus of our box to be a discount box. Our mm -hmm. box is a quality box, right? So I always tell people that too. I like but, that you yeah, don't I mean, put the prices on of what the baits well, cost of what their retail yeah, price is. That's interesting to hear. Yeah. I mean, why, why is that? Why don't you, why do you like that? I'm curious. So uh, when I see the prices, <laughs> I start questioning if it's real. That's the uh, God's yeah. honest truth. I, yeah, I yeah. start to look at it and go, well, you know what? What it, what it hurts is like uh, I got that that Bass Baits monthly box, and mm -hmm. I'm gonna in honestly the Berkeley swimmers are a great bait. I'm not taking they anything are. away from the bait. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there are some good baits in that box. I know for a fact I can get that bait for three dollars at Bass Pro Shop. I know for a fact, but when yeah. they come, they give me the box and they say it's worth seven dollars or whatever it was. I'm using that as an example. Then I start, that starts making me think, well, if I know I can get this for $3, I'm just using this as an example again. I don't know exactly. Let me make sure I state that after the robo worm fiasco. <laughs> uh, that I start, then I start questioning all of the, all the prices on it. Just like this last month's with Monster Bass. I mean, we got that, they put the new bag in. I love the bag. I'm gonna, I'll be honest. Yeah, that's cool. But mm -hmm. they put the price of the whole that bag inside of what that overall price of the the box was. So really, the box with in the bag was supposed to be free. So really, if you looked at the overall value of the box, which you have now because you've sent me everything that it's worth, the box really was only worth forty bucks, forty two dollars. I paid thirty five dollars, yeah. and they added they added uh, an additional dollar for shipping that I didn't even know either. Uh, if I wouldn't yeah, have, if I wouldn't have seen that they put that bag inside the overall price of the box, I would have been pretty happy with that ba that box this month. I would have been yeah. like, okay, there's some good stuff in there. But now, you, when I start seeing this, I start feeling like someone's pulling my shirt over my head and trying to yeah. sell me something that it, it sh they shouldn't be. If yeah, you tell that's, me, that's interesting. I, I hear what you're saying. Yeah, because we don't put it in there and. The real reason we don't put it in there is because it would be logistically a nightly industry. So that means we would have to get this like nice laminated card put in every single box that would be different. And that would cost us a lot of money too. Like we can't just put the same thing in there. So that's why that's why we never really stuck to that doing that. We tried it once. And the other I thing I think is the first too, box yeah, like, you did. Yeah, we started putting it in there and the whole printout with all this information. It was cool, but it's just a nightmare. Like we have too many subscribers to put one of those in every box because they're all different. And then the other thing is too, yeah, like to me, like that's not what our box is about. Like it's not about the, like it costs this much and just how much I pay for it. Wow, I got such a great deal. Like you're getting a good deal. One, because you do free shipping, like that's already a good deal. Like, mm -hmm. and two, like we do have a greater, the cost of what the lures will cost you at a store are actually less than, um, excuse me, more than what it costs you to buy the box. Mm -hmm. So we do have that value. But again, like I've seen unboxings before where like they break down, they do this whole analysis, like a spreadsheet and they, they give like a margin, like on what you saved. Yeah. Like that's not what we're about. I'm sorry. Like, yeah, if that's what you're looking for. Like, you know, that's, there's, there's no way we're going to make, like, we're going to send you a box that costs $45 for our angler box and it has $90 worth of stuff. Yeah. That's impossible. If I did that, I would be, I would be paying you to buy my box. Yeah. Right. And that's what's crazy to me is like other companies out there say like it's $30, you got $50 worth of stuff. If that were really true, then they wouldn't be making any money. Right. Cause it doesn't cost them that much money. And it does, those lures aren't worth that much either. Right? I think so, I, didn't I do a video on one of them that said it was $80 worth of value. And when I went and looked up the prices, it was like $66 worth of value. Yeah. That's anyone who tells you the, like the value of their box, like is trying to get you to buy it. 
mm-hmm. point blank that that's why they do that and mm-hmm. we don't do we don't do that because even though we give a good value that's not why we that's not how we do it that's not our model right so yeah you are the best box yeah, man. Oh, thanks, bro. I, I, I've, yeah, I, I I've texted you that. I've told you that. I have no problem completely. I think there's times when uh, other boxes, other subscription boxes do really well. But consistently, yeah. every month or every other month, because you're bi-monthly, I really look forward to what you put out. And then you send me little hints and things like, wait till you see what you're getting next month. And then you don't tell me. Pisses me off. Just so you know ahead of time. <laughs> Yeah, our next box is like mean, you know we have stuff in there again that we always we always do this especially this when we have stuff that no one's ever put in their box. Um, so I'm excited about it. every single time we send a box. So I always think it's the best one, honestly. I know. <laughs> um, but we I try to you know I'm not trying to beat the the last box. It's just I'm excited about the boxes. I, I enjoy you know working with the team to put them together. So yeah, it's it's a lot of fun. And again, I'm grateful to you and and Gary Fish on fam everybody over there that has shared and, and, you know, spread the word about FTC. Uh, it's been really, really cool to see. And I'm very grateful. So thanks. Oh, a lot. Yeah. No problem whatsoever. Yeah. I, 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 like I said, I believe in what you do and that's, that's, and, and I have confidence in get that, getting that box every month, every other month and going, you know, to be on to be, to, to keep it real, you know, most of the subscription boxes I get, I don't open till, I go right over behind me. You can see the light and start doing it. Uh, Yours, I open ahead of time. That's the God's honest truth. I look forward to seeing what's in it. Uh, I know that's going to shock people because they want to see my crazy ass faces and my eyes and all that other stuff that make me or looking down and whatever. I understand that. But with your box, I thoroughly look forward to opening it as soon as I get it. I mean, I rush to the mailbox to get your box. Everybody else, I kind of just go, okay. In fact, so much so, when I get your box, usually I do that video that day. That's and cool. and with that. with other boxes, like my last unboxing, I got that I got that one and 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 sat on it for a few days because I was like, I I I already knew what was going to happen, and I other than yeah. taking a beating on Robo Worm, you know. Yeah, that was. That I would say though that I, I, there were some lures in there that I thought were really good. Like you know, there's some stuff that I I kind of you know turn my head a little bit too, like the double double up on one brand. But um, yeah, I, I those lures that was a cool box. Like, and I'm actually I, I'm I have my eye on that box now because I I'm always curious like about the new boxes or like the the MLF box. Like that's that's interesting to me to see um, coming out. I don't know if it's going to be a quality one. Like that's what I'm really curious to see. Like they said five to six for thirty something. Like that means that. It should be quality if they're sending that amount. That's like what similar to what we do. So I hope it is. And if we're willing to put subscription box owners in the boxes, the better it is for anglers. The more truthful it is, the more honest it is. Mm-hmm. Our box is the best because we make less money than everyone else. Mm-hmm. That's why. Like that's one of the reasons why. I mean, there's other stuff too. Like maybe that's a selling point. But you know, so I'm I'm curious. But yeah, I mean. That box was interesting, like, and I always find the boxes interesting. That one I'm going to give another month. I was told that this was yeah. a bad month. I the the thing about the the double lures really just to be to keep it real that bothered me. That really bothered yeah. me. And I've come to learn that 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 brand is very that Santone is very successful in Texas. Mm-hmm. Now, what's mm-hmm. successful in Texas usually relates to successful in Florida. And I thought the mm-hmm. jigs were all right and that kind of stuff, but uh, it was it wasn't it was a it wasn't a company that I had heard of. But there's there's probably companies here in Florida that everybody else is not going to know. Uh, that's just sure. that's just how it is. Uh, mm-hmm. I can't know everything. That's the best way I can say it. I took a, a yeah. beat down from a, a lot of people. Some a couple of people were really kind of ugly about it, and I can't know. I can't know everything. I mean, I've been in this business. We've been, I've been doing this for 12, 13, 14 years and another 10 years before that doing graphics. So, uh, I try to do my best and, and I try to be honest. That's all I can do. If I don't like something, people really appreciate that. Yeah. I'm going to tell you if I don't like it. That's what, that's what I think people really love your channels, the honesty that, that comes across. And that's what, you know, gravitated me towards. Um, you know, watching so much and, and, you know, being involved too, like, and just, 
as a as a get your fish on like part of the fan like you know i watch all the unboxings i watch all the closer looks like it's because of your honesty so people yeah. really appreciate that and and uh, yeah there are hundreds of lures out there you know people know that like people every other day there's a new one popping up someone making a new like uh what they think, what they say is a new version of a, yeah. of a lure. <laughs> of an old lure. It's, it's, yeah, it's exactly. It's crazy. So, but there's some really cool stuff out there too. A lot, there's a lot of small companies that make some really neat oh, designs. Yeah. I've seen some really cool, like garage type, you know, lures that yeah. are awesome. And um, you gave me one. Too, like, Look at Funk yeah. Buster. Yeah, that's a small company. They, they make a great product. Like we did a Sunshine State custom base. They, they customized a bunch of lures for us. Yeah. The that was awesome. Like, we work with small companies. I don't even get, get me wrong. Like we do it. We just, we don't like to work with small companies that work with boxes that devalue their products. Mm -hmm. Right. Cause then it makes us seem like our box is devalued as well. Like, yeah. I cringe at the thought of having the same discount lure, right. Uh, excuse me. The same like small company as someone else. Cause then they're going to think that that's a discount lure mm -hmm. and it's not, it's a great lure. It's just, they wanted their name out there. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, because, so I think subscription box companies aren't willing to step up and make less. We're kind of setting ourselves, setting ourselves up as a, as a, just in general, as a business model to be viewed as the, the go-to discount thing. And, mm -hmm. and that's not what I want for it. I want people to see like, this is to me, this is, can be the future in a way of, of buying tackle, right? Not to get rid of mom and pop stores. Like you buy tackle from a subscription box. You really like it. Then you go to your mom and pop store and you buy it buy it like, again that to me is yeah and that's that's how it should work it shouldn't work like you th like all of a sudden i think that this is great when in actuality there's 12 other things out there that are better mm -hmm. like i wish people like i'll say this look at icast stuff like really look at it like those of you watching this icast coming up like take a look at what's really out there and and then tell me that that's that's what you're getting in your box yeah. i hope that you do all right we do with us i know it but i hope that you do with everyone else and there's a reason that you don't, right? And that's what's frustrating to me. Um, not to not to just talk about negativity, but you know, we're we're kind of I don't know. I just feel like it it, it, helps, it hurts others by you know by saving that much money, right? Making that much money, you know, it, it's it's actually hurting the industry, in my opinion. It's not helping it. Yeah, I agree with you. Okay, I really I know we have you have to yeah. get going, but thank yeah, you very yeah. much, everybody. If you want, thank if you. If you want to go get this amazing bo a box, it's bi monthly. You go to floridatackleclub.com. Do you still have the code Get Your Fish On that saves them like a couple bucks or something? Yeah, Get Your Fish On is still there, still a discount. It's actually it's 10% off now. It used to be, I think we had it at five, but now it's just 10, which is close to the same. And yeah. we are going to change the price. Again, I mentioned that earlier. We are going to be raising the prices um, again because we put a, a really great box out there and it's it's worth you know, it's, it's still good value, but it's, it's worth it. We believe. So, um, if you want to get the pricing that we're at now, you'll be locked into that price. Actually, we won't change it on you ever. Um, and you know, you have like a couple weeks, depending on when this you know video is, you have a couple weeks to do that before we change it. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Everyone go to Florida tackle club.com. Use that code, get your fish on, uh, Victor. I, I appreciate the time. You know that I, I think, like I said, I think what you guys do is the best and I wish you all the best of luck and continued success. I don't want you to get too big that you'll, I want you to get bigger. Of course, I want to see you grow, but I don't want you to get to too big where you forget us little people. But oh, man, that'll never happen. I know that. that, that I know nobody's, that. Nobody's little. Nobody's little. Everybody's big, in my opinion. Everybody, I treat everybody. I try to treat everybody like they were as famous, you know? Like everybody's the same. We're all the same. So yeah. I appreciate it, man. You're the best. Dude, I'll I really do, Steve. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. I'll talk to you soon. Hold on. I'm going to say goodbye. Everyone, make sure, again, go to floridatackleclub.com. Make sure you like, subscribe, and click that notification bell. We will see you guys. Remember, take kid fishing. I almost forget. I almost screwed up the whole thing. Get your fish on, and we'll see you guys soon. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to subscribe, click up here. If you want to see our last video, it should be right here. Take a kid fishing. Get your fish on. Cheers.